Uh, my name is Sato. I am originally from Japan. I have a business is called Zen by the Water that makes and sells handcrafted jewelry. And I also work with a hyperbaric oxygen chamber business. This is my second time being a part of a video on this channel and I'm very excited to be here. Hey everyone, my name is Mari and this is my first time being here on this channel. So thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm a University of Toronto student currently studying public policy, sociology and international development studies. And yeah, really excited to be here. Hi guys, so I'm Surjana and I'm originally from Bangalore, which is in the south of India. And I'm currently living in Toronto. Um, I've always been super interested in languages. So growing up in India, I speak about three or four Indian languages. And I've uh, recently started trying to study um, French and Japanese as well. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's my first time I'm going to actually be talking to Japanese speakers. So very excited. Wanakam, <laughs> my name is Ilan Chirpi Arulambi. And I'm from uh, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. I speak Tamil. All right, perfect. So uh, the first word is going to be read by Sato. So you could go ahead and read that. So the first word is iru. One more iru. time. Iru. Iru. Yeah, so is it iru? Yes, iru. Iru. So in Canada, that means uh, to be or to stay. Yes, yes. In Japanese, is exact, uh, exactly the same meaning. It means being there. Yeah. Yes. How do you spell that? Um, so in English, uh, it would be I-R-U. Yeah, in Japanese too. Exactly yeah. the same spelling. <laughs> in it's the just that in the Dravidian languages, we say iru. And I know in Japanese, it's probably more iru. Yes, it's shorter, like iru. Iru. Yeah. 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 And how do you say it in Tamil? The same way, iru. Okay, yeah, that one is very close. I guess it's sort of like being there, to be there, to stay, like it can sort of be used in a different context, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the next word is gonna be in Tamil. So when you're ready, you can read that one. In like. One more time. In like. Is this inai? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is not there, maybe? Not there. In inai. Yeah, same. Way. Inai. Am I right? That's yeah, right. Yeah. Wow. That's correct. That's yeah, so the, the, it basically uh, relates to the last one, sort of, right? Like, I, I wanted these two to be in the beginning, so they're kind of like not related, mm -hmm. but you know, that one's like to be, this is like not being there or something. Something That's like actually that. Actually, so funny. Iru and Inai both. It's practically yeah. identical. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I never knew that. Now we'll do the next Japanese word. So, Mari, you can read this one. Okay. So it's kudasai. Kudasai. Mm. Mm. So, and you can give them hints. Like, you can try first, but like, if, if okay. you can start, you give them hints. All right. I'm going to pronounce it just one more time. So it's uh, so I know in Canada there is a kodu, like the kuda is kodu, is to mm -hmm. give. Mm -hmm. So is that something around there? Yes, it, you're you're on the right track. Yeah. Yeah, and I think Tamil is probably even closer. In Tamil, uh, we would say kudunga, mm -hmm. ah. which is like a little more polite way of saying please, please give me. Yep, yeah, that's exactly it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Say that word again, please. Kurunda. Kurunda. Kurunda? Did I say it did I say it right? Yeah. Because yeah. when Japanese people um speak um and say that word, we typically say that really fast, right? Like kudasai. Yeah. So well, when it's said really fast, it sounds really similar. Yeah. Okay. So the word is kelu. Is it kudu? Is is it no. like coming closer? No. no. So I'll give you another form of the word because that may be more similar. So we would say kel taidia. Kel taidia. It's a bit Kie, different. Is this like kikoeru in Japanese? This means like listen. We can listen to it. 
Yeah. <laughs> is, exactly. Is this yeah. Yeah. Oh That's wow. <laughs> so we say Kelu, and Kelu. Um, if you oh. want to ask, are you listening or can you hear me? You say Kel Taidia. It's yeah. a bit different, but when you say <laughs> Bath, it's Kiko Erka, Kel Taidia. It's a bit similar. Another thing that I find very interesting in both Japanese and also in Tamil, I don't know if this applies to all Dravidian languages, but when you're using like a foreign loan word, uh, you tend to put a, a, a vowel at the end of it. Like a bus, for example, becomes bus, so right? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. And, and, and you, do the, you do the same thing in both Japanese and in Tamil. Like I, I've noticed that with a lot of words, not that I just use bus as an example, right? Yeah. But yeah, that's that's another like that's not just a single word, but that's just like a more general linguistic commonality. That's common to uh, pretty much all the Dravidian languages, I would say. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't know if it was all of them or just like specifically Tamil. The next word is ani. Ani. Yes. Brother. Elder brother. Yes, it's older brother. Yes. Yeah. In Tamil, it's Anan. Okay, very interesting. It's similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about and other languages? The, the other Dravidian so, language? Um, so in Canada, it would just be Anna. And okay. uh, in Telugu, actually, it can be Anna, but uh, people also say Anaya. So if you say it really mm. fast, it's Anaya. So it's mm. Ani, Anaya. Arumai. Arumai. Oh. Arumi. So in Japanese, think of like an expression where uh, something happens, like it could be negative or positive. Effective. Could you say the word just one more time? Arumai. Oh, okay. No, I get it now. Arienai. Oh, which basically means like no way <laughs> or like that's impossible or like that's awesome yeah, How do you yeah. Know? exactly similar meaning whereas i think in tamil it's just more like something is awesome like you know it's like saying awesome basically yeah hmm. whereas in japanese it could also have like a negative connotation, connotation. yeah a little bit but then yeah it's like no way or like oh really Oh, that is awesome. Like, it's impossible, exactly. incredible, exactly. something like that. Yeah, it can be positive, it can be negative, both ways. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So this next one, contrary to what many people might think, this did not enter either language through English, because it's close to the English word. Okay, it's namai, namai. So is that name? Does that mean name? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, so uh, it's more so in like a Sanskrit sort of a thing or Hindi, we say Nam. Mm -hmm. So that's very similar. Um, and maybe in more traditional texts and stuff, it would be Namaha or Nama. Mm -hmm. But um, in like day to day uh, language, Dravidian languages, I don't think we say a similar word. Um, so this one I like. I like this word. <laughs> so it's karam. Mm. Karam. Karam. Yeah. K a r a m. Karai. Spicy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly. very similar. And so karam is Telugu. Um, Canada would just be kara. Oh yeah. Dumb. Whenever we eat spicy and it's so spicy, like unexpectedly spicy, we go, oh my gosh, it's so karai. karai. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, like, we, we make it shorter. Like, like usually we say karai, mm -hmm. like in a formal way, but it's really spicy. We say just kara. Kara. Oh. Yes. Kara. yes. Oh. It's so it's funny because we, like if we're using it in a sentence, we would say in Telugu, um, Karanga undi. So it actually becomes longer when you use it. Karanga undi. Or in uh, Canada, you would say karaide. Say that again, because that sounded so much like Japanese too. 
Yeah, so it's kara ide. So ide is it is. So when you say it together, it's kara ide. Tumba kara ide. Kara <laughs> ide. It's yeah. so funny because I come from the um, southern part of Japan and we have a um, southern accent basically. Yeah. So when we say, oh my gosh, it's so spicy in my dialect, it's karaide. It's uh, so karaide. Oh, yeah. It's literally the same. That's so yeah. funny. So it's a bit like、uh, it's spicy, isn't it? Something like that, right?、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now we're going to do、uh, sentences. So, Watashi no koe ga. One more time. Yeah. All right. So, Watashi no koe ga kiko eru ka? So, I something can heal. Yes. What is koe ga? Yes, it's, it's, yes, you are correct. I said,、um, can you hear my voice or can you hear me? Oh, so my voice, Watashi no Koega is my voice. Right. Watashi is I, I. like, or my, my. So, like, Watashi no Koe, my voice. Koe is voice. Kikoeru ka,、mm. hear me. Can you、mm. hear me? So, in,、uh, in Canada, you would say, Nan ma to kelsta idea. Or, so, can you hear what I'm saying? So it's kale stadia, that's the word. Or,、uh, or if you just say,、um, are you listening? You say kale stadia. It's just one word, which means, are you listening? Now, p a s t e the cake is in town. Okay. Okay. Cake sounds very similar.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so the Telugu one is、um, pillalu. Gusa gusalu adutunaru. Say that again. So I'll say it quickly and then I'll say it slowly. So, pillalu gusa gusal adutunaru. So it's three words. Pillalu gusa gusalu adutunaru. So, yeah, say it in Tamil now. Say, say your sentence in Tamil and see、yeah. what. Anga inna gusa gusane basic tilting ya. Sneaky. Being a little snaky, koso koso.、Oh. Oh. Kusu kusu is like whispering? Yeah, yeah. yes. Talking Am I right? Yeah. yeah. So, like, I, like I, I whisper. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 So, my <laughs> sentence was、uh, the children are whispering, but gusa gusa lu is like whispering and you know, laughing silently together, sort of a thing. Giggling, kind of giggling, yeah. In, in Japanese, it's kusu kusu. kusu yeah, kusu.、Mm-hmm. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, now we'll do、uh, this last one. So, Mari, you can go ahead and read your sentence. So, the sentence is Atama ga kuru kuru suru. Can you say that again? Atama ga kuru kuru suru or kura kura. Or kuru kuru. And what was the last word? Suru. Suru.、Hmm. In Tamil, kuru kuru means dizziness or dizziness. You got it. Yes.、Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So, like something that's spinning, like getting dizzy, basically, right? So,、yeah. kuru kuru, the word itself basically means spinny or twirly or swirly, but then you, you can say, My head feels spinny, which literally means dizzy. So, what I said, the sentence actually, what I said was,、um, My head feels dizzy. It feels spinny or like, you know,、um, a little bit dizzy. So, that's basically identical, I'd say. Nice.、Yeah. Even the way you pronounce it is almost the same.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Could be pronounced as kuru kuru or kura kura.、Mm. Yeah. yeah. Both well, works. We are focusing on terms that are in common, but if you look at certain、uh, grammatical structures or certain like、uh, linguistic aspects that we didn't really discuss, you could go into、yeah. a lot of detail where you find commonalities and similarities. And people who are watching, you're very welcome to share anything if you want. There was one thing else before we, we finish things off. Yeah, so. so just because we're saying it's a Dravidian、uh, 
and Japanese similarities and we don't have Malayalam representation. That's the other big Dravidian language. There are other languages as well. Um, so something I picked up is, and I'm, uh, I want to apologize in advance. I don't speak Malayalam as such, so I may not have perfect pronunciation and stuff, but, um, and I want to know if this is correct, my observation. So the way that pronouns work in Japanese and Malayalam is not the same as how it is in English. Um, so especially second and third person pronouns. So if I'm addressing someone that I'm with, so if I'm talking to Marie, let's say, you know, um, if I wanted to ask her, did you watch the movie? Um, in English, I would say, did you watch the movie? Right, so I use the word you. Uh, but in Malayalam, I would use her name. I would say uh, Mari Cinema Kando. And I think in Japanese as well, they use the name of the person instead of the pronoun. That is true. If I'm talking to Sato, for, for instance, and if I ask the same question, I wouldn't say you, which is Anata, exactly as you said. So instead, I'll be like, Sato Kusan or Sato san, did you watch the movie? Yeah. So that is right. Yeah, I, I never thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's sometimes for respect and intimacy, like with elders, it automatically comes into the picture. But um, but otherwise as well, it's pretty common um, for pronouns not to be used that much, especially in Malayalam. Um, so yeah, I yeah. thought that was interesting. <laughs> is Absolutely, interesting. and like I, like I said, if, if we really go down uh, like deeper into it, there are a lot more, linguistic commonalities and similarities that connect the uh, Dravidian languages and the Japanese. So people are very welcome to share anything else they want in the comment section. And uh, before we finish off, I just want to say thank you guys. This was this was really, really wonderful. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, learned something new from the process as well. Thank you thank guys. You. Arigato. Thank you for having me. So. Thank you so much for having me. My thank pleasure. You. Well, thank you so much. Um, have a, a good day and a good evening, I guess. Like we are in different time zones, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Anyways, thank you so much. I really, really thank enjoyed you. it. And uh, take care. Bye, thank guys. You. Thanks. Bye. Nice to meet you. Thank you too. Nice to meet you. <laughs>